everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game! I know, it's been long overdue, so long. However, we have an action-packed episode for you today, because we've got events, we've got a new uh, VIP thing, and since I've stopped recording Jurassic World The Game on the channel, Lydia has been overly generous with uh, the the uh, VIP passes. Now, I'd often get them in a blue moon so to showcase a new creature that they particularly wanted me to uh, showcase. But now, I don't know, maybe because I've stopped covering it, they're like, oh God, maybe maybe all my free years of coverage have not gone, gone unnoticed now that they've stopped. <laughs> and they're like, Oh god, it'd be so interesting to see analytics of like people playing and like <laughs> Oh god, we should, we should maybe support them a little bit. Interesting with a live would be great. Oh. Yeah, I could do that though. <laughs> anyway, anyway, no, enough of that. We have, uh, I just want to quickly claim this. This is actually yesterday's VIP stuff. You'll also notice we have over one million. Uh, DNA. We have 43,000 bucks, and I have done all of this. No hacks, no cheats, no nothing. Um, it's It's been a slow grind uh, to get this. I haven't played this game as much as I've played stuff like Jurassic World Alive, just because, um, you know, the daily stuff for Jurassic World Alive is more important because you lose sort of the, the rank with it. Um, also, we've got 800 and odd of that. So that's a lot. We're going to see how much we can get right this second. What's the best way? Um, also, here it is. We have the grand premium. <laughs> I know. Pass given to me. Thank you, uh, Lydia, for uh, give, allowing me that. There's another 3,000 of that. Uh, the Rodrigo Solitaire, which has already been in Jurassic World Alive before this game. Uh, also... Is that a chance of... Oh, it was a chance of getting it, but we didn't quite get it there. Okay. Um, I, oh, an extra incubator. Oh, is that just once? Maybe it is just once. I don't know. So this is all stuff that you get if you buy the Grand Premium Pass. Ten of the gold tickets. And now we get to see just how far we get to really go. <gasps> Boom. Nice. Now, I, I did miss the first week. So this is the second week of prizes and different things we've got to do. We also have... Um, well, I still have to pay 35 bucks to use it, but it is there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you you know, it's not the best, but it's an option if you really want to do it. Um, I mean, if you've got a lot of dinosaurs to grind through, that's great. Uh, also, really good thing about this is that they have this thing. Now, they've got the Mosasaur. If you don't have a Mosasaur, you just want to get rid of some of those for Mosasaur, perfect. But the creatures, the tournament creatures, or not even tournament creatures, some of the creatures in the Grand Premium Pass, uh, you can unlock through this trade-up, which is brilliant. I don't know if I made an episode on this. Um, I, The last one I recorded, I recorded half of it, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll record the next half when the tournament creature comes out. And then I missed the tournament creature, and I was like, well, I'll just scrap the first part of the video then. So that actually, it's probably been ages since you've made one. I, I, for, to me, it's not. It's probably like two weeks since I recorded one. So we have to get the Smilodon to get the Carinosaurus. And then we have to trade a, that same Carinosaurus. We have to trade a uh, level 30 Triceratops Gen 2, which I don't even think I have. Hmm, maybe I can't do it. Hold on, let's have a look. Let's see if I have it unlocked. We'll go to herbivores. Uh, Triceratops Gen 2. I'm assuming if I don't have it, it'll be at the bottom. And it'll also be locked. I'm hoping to see it here, though. Oh! Oh, I could just... I could get it to... So I don't have one. I don't have one at all. Okay, well, we're not unlocking Karinosaur, so that's that. Uh, I'm not spending 20,000 bucks for a level 10, and it doesn't even unlock it. That button, the fact it's even there that I could accidentally misclick and click it is absolutely terrifying. Uh, yeah, go on, we'll trade some of those for the bucks. Uh, what else we got? We do have a really cool event to do. I'll just quickly do... This is normally what I would do if I was to play this every day. I would go in, get the daily incubators, 
trade some of the Apatosaurus uh, statues for DNA. I think that's probably the best one if you've not got the Fidelity membership. In that case, you can trade them for books. 70,000 food, which I've already got a plethora of. Uh, we can definitely trade any of this. I mean, I'll just get rid of the fountain. I really don't need that park oasis. And we could watch an advert, but I can't really be bothered. Um, an incubator egg statue. That's specifically a rare one. However, at the same time, I don't really care for statues. So, I mean, it's like a VIP exclusive one and I don't really care. If anything, it just means that I'm going to get a trade for that rather than the Apatosaur. And the Apatosaur is a really good one to get a trade for. And there is nothing. Unfortunately, that was absolutely terrible. Uh, we'll quickly go into here. We do have this, a world event and also an Instagram event that all the, the kids are using these days is Instagram. I think so. I don't know. Anyway, we're getting a lot of DNA for this. Uh, oh, batteries are low. I should done low power mode. Oh, oopsie daisies. Oh, well. We may randomly cut out and I'll join in an hour <laughs> when we got power back. Because, of course, every time I'm like, you know what? Let's record a video. I don't have power. And I'm like, why don't I just charge this thing? And I do. And then a week goes by and it runs out of battery. Right. So. Uh, the, the cool event I wanted to do, and I did start it, and I went, no, oh, we'll save this for a video. So we do have a Smilodon, which is nice, because if we don't have one, you've got the event to do. But it's just on the Parasaurolophus Stampede! Um, I'm kind of curious what dinosaur we should use to take on the Parasaurolophus. I mean, obviously, it's got to be a carnivore. It could be an Indoraptor, I suppose? Uh, but I kind of like the big boys. Maybe we'll go for the Gigan... Giganotosaurus, uh, Gen 2, and if I remember correctly, these might all be level 1s, so anything that's this high, it's not really needed. Unicorn Wizard! Oh my god! Though, I never really got that off the ground. I think it was like some evil sorcerer, or sorceress or something like that. And again, <laughs> this is burping to it. Not to you, the audience, but to Ludia for not e not listening to me. I don't care about the freaking visitor center. It's dark. It's dingy. If you want to know why people aren't playing a game anymore? It's because every event is this. You don't get to see the dinosaurs. It's all in the dark. Uh, why bother? <laughs> Sorry. Eh. What am I looking at here? I can't even tell. I might as well just be fighting in ghosts. Ghosts, spooks, and ghouls. It's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, anybody else feel the same? Guys, I know this is podcast. This is just chit-chat with beavers. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think? If you, if you play the game, would you like to see the fountain? The, the, the helipad and the waterfall in the background? Or remember the Sahara Desert one? It was like a coastal beachy one during sunset. That was nice. But yet, every event... Every, every freaking tournament is the same. It's this visitor. It was cool when it first came in. But honestly, if you want to showcase the, the models, the game, what are you doing this for? I feel as though maybe, maybe they've got it in the pipe work, right? They're like, okay, we should probably switch up the ballerinas, right? And if they do, speed it up. I would rather get some new battle arenas or, you know, just change it to this one than another unique or another, you know, another new creature, right? Who, who cares about a new creature if you can't bloody see it? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it just gets my goat. It's, ah, oh, yes, it's me, yes. Oh. Anyway, uh, hey. How you doing today? You doing good? You do, I, I'm doing um, phenomenally well. It's, it's it's always a good day when we can crack out the Jurassic World, the game, pretend that we're in a much simpler time where we didn't have all the worries and weight of the world on our shoulders. Hey, wasn't it great? <laughs> Back when I was in my bedroom playing this on on a little desk. With, with my Mac. Oh, no, it was, well, it was this, wasn't it? But no, I was streaming it onto my Mac. That's right, I was playing on this, my Mac was recording it. Oh, the, oh, we've already defeated ten of the Parasaurolophuses. The Parasaurolophi. 
I will recall it, maybe. And Giganotosaurus wins the day. Now, one of the reasons, again, there is Parasaurolophus Tampi. Do I get more? I should, there should be four Parasaurolophus in there. If that's the pack, that should be it, right? Why can't we have fun? <laughs> oh, there's another one. Another one. Oh, you get DNA. Oh, you could get DNA, but you're probably going to get a Parasaur. I like it, but it would be, it'd be amazing if there's four Parasaurolophus, right? Like... What's the, what's the worst case scenario that people just have lots of Parasaurolophus in their game and can have fun and play around with some DNA? Who can't have that? <laughs> oh, never mind. My dailies end in 10 minutes and then we can restart. But really, what I want to do is have a look at this. The VIP Season, the VIP Weekly, and the VIP Grand Premium. So, what things can we knock out straight away today? You know, that won't take ages. So the purchase 30 prize drops. Let's have a look. Now, I think I may have already done that with those guys. The rest are kind of bucks. And I don't... I'll, you know what? If, it's, if it switches from, you know, maybe the first entry is 100 bucks. And then the next entry is something else. Cool. No. It is just 800... No, I'm not doing that. You can, I've already got 10, actually, for the Bumby. So that's pretty cool. But I'm not putting 3,000 into it. So we're not going to bother with that. So that's out of the question. However, we do have the complete 25 battles. We have use 40 carnivores. Brilliant. Uh, herbivores and 50 battles. As well as spend DNA. And for the premium, uh, complete 100 battles. We could easily do that today. Um, hopefully. Now what you want to do is you want to look out for something like this. Here you go. Uh, and then switch to that. Boom, boom, done. Right? That counts. Giving up counts as doing a game. Woo! What's going on there? We haven't loaded correctly. Oh, we really haven't loaded correctly. Oh! Oh! Can we can we do something cool? Oh, I don't... Ooh! Maybe. Oh! Oh! It's, it's getting crazier the, the longer I do it. Should we go in the market? Ooh! Uh, I need to spend DNA. I don't know what... Oh, thing, things are disappearing, guys. This is brilliant. Oh, click more menus. Yes, brilliant. How about we click into here? Or into the boss alert. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, I, I don't know what's going on. We're going to have to quickly reset, guys. We'll be right back. And we are back. Yes, it has been half an hour. I have 36% battery. We are kind of charging at the moment, so do we, we should be okay. So, I just, sorry, I, I, I saw a code 19. They knew. Ludia knew before anyone else. Coincidence? Maybe. I hope so. They knew. How did they know? But, you know, we, I, it's free DNA. I, you know, this is, it's part of the fun in this game. Some of the fun that's left. Now... Back in the day, when I covered this game a lot, oh look, we were supposed to get 222 from that, and we got six, 600. That's a lot of DNA. So yeah, back in the day, when I would record this game a lot, what I would do, first of all, first and foremost, is see what the thumbnail would be. Like, I'd have an image in my head and be like, okay, what am I going to do? And the problem with, you know, years later, because it has been years uh, since this game has been released, um, they, they kind of just stopped adding fun things to it after a while. Um, once they found their groove and they were like, okay, we'll do tournaments. Okay, we'll do this. A bit like Jurassic Park Builder became just a DNA uh, thingies. Obo Bonoso tops. Um, and it felt like this for the longest time is that it, it still is that way. And that's why I make the argument for the, you know, make some things more interesting. Just please, anything. Anyway, we were here. We were just going to quickly grind through uh, some things. Uh, also, 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 the, uh, the last season pass which had the pterodactyls. I don't know if any of you guys managed to get any of those, uh, but I did. Uh, I missed out on, uh, I think it was the last one that was guaranteed if you were VIP. I missed out on that one. Silly beavers. So stupid. Um, but I do have those to hatch as well, because normally what happens when you go into, you've got to collect that complete five battles, place a dinosaur. Shouldn't be too hard. 
Uh, well, we need to make one first, I'm assuming, for the VIP. Uh, hatch one Rodriguez Solitaire. So let's have a look. Um, ooh. Is it a glacier? I'm curious. Is it a Cenozoic? I would have thought it might have been a Cenozoic. It can't be prehistoric. Wait, what? What is it? Is it a herbivore? No way they put it with the dinosaurs. The, I mean, the dodos with the dinosaurs. That's not right. I didn't even... How did I never realize they put the dodo with the herbivores? Why? Why? Why did they do that? And it's here. Go. Oh, wait. I have one. I'm so sure I got a re I got one of these. Did I not? You guys saw it, right? Earlier in the video, when I oh, when I got the Grand Premium, I was given one of these. Right? I was so sure I had one of those. Uh, yeah, there it is! Silly game. Tricks are for kids. Okay, so we can place that. Boom! Place it in there. And there we go. We have our little chickens. Right, let's feed one of you, because apparently you're a herbivore like the dodo. Do you eat like the dodo? I think you might, actually. And it looks it looks very... Yeah, they're the same animation as the dodo, I'm pretty sure. Um, they gave... Uh, what's it called? The big one in this. A separate animation or a separate something. You guys commented on that. I didn't even realize. So we'll get them to level 10. So that has done the placing. That is also done like, hatching one to and getting one to level 10. Look at him go. He's so cute. So there we go. Rodrigo Solitaire is a close relative of the famous Dodo. Would you call it famous? I mean, Maybe infamous in a way because it kind of died where well, it shouldn't really have died, but it did. Unfortunate. Poor unfortunate soul. Uh, okay, so we got that. Uh, I've still got to do the 40 carnivores, 25 battles, and I'm pretty sure 50 battles. Uh, I need to spend the DNA. Okay. And I'm I'm so sure one was herbivores. Oh, hatch eight herbivores. Oh, so it's carnivores I need to do. Oh no, 50, I've used 55 uh, herbivores. Whoa, we could get so much here. Hatch 10 ankylosaurs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, what else we got? Gyrosphere. I never do the gyrospheres. Complete 50 battles and just do the herbivores. I mean, super easy. Easiest way is to do battles that don't cost anything. I mean, sometimes you can get battles that cost coin. And as long as you're late stage like me... That doesn't really bother you, because if you're like me, you've got plenty of dinosaurs to just speed up, and if you don't, you need to do that anyway. And you've got the statues uh, that collect everything, and you should have. I think there's a better way to earn coin than the way I'm doing it now with the fountains. I'm pretty sure they've made something better, because I saw somebody else's park, and I was like, hold on a minute. Not even I do it like that. Is it, uh, am I, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I don't have the, the latest strats to collect coin, but if I'm honest, do I really need them? I collect about 70 million coin every tap of that statue when I let it recharge, so. <coughs> I don't got van. Okay, so that should have done. Oh, speed ups done. Sweet. Uh, that's 25 battles also done. And the season 80 or well, 800. We're already halfway through. Like, to the, the one where you definitely get a guaranteed, even if you haven't got the special premium pass. So we still need 50 battles. And next is carnivores, which you need 40 of. Um, so, ooh, I'm not going to do that. And I'm also, unless this is good, no, we're going to send Owen for that. And it's also a good way when you're doing this uh, to just rattle through, um, you know, uh, code 19s. Code -da -da -da. algorithm. It'll put one of those things at the bottom of my video and be like, this is from Wikipedia to, to do with the thing. <laughs> Code. Right. <laughs> right, Ludia. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, you so didn't predict any of <laughs> Would have been looked into. Like, hold on a minute. Okay. Uh, uh, I guess I could have done that. But we've got bigger fish to fry. We've got this. So I think this is only commons, actually. <laughs> His little arms wiggled. Yeah, it's only commons, so I think I've reached, I've reached my limit when it comes to those guys. 
Okay. I mean, we we could really have done the co like the coin thing, but do I do I need a pack for coin? Unless you know. I mean, it's to eventually unlock what's it called? Yeah, the Clash of the Titans. In which case, you would get a guaranteed U Moon at some pretty decent prizes. But I think I'm okay. Uh, Earth Shattering ter Pterosaurs, which it can only do uh, pterosaurs. Any creature for this though? <sighs> Has to be Cenozoic. Any creature for this? There we go. That's what we want. Uh, just click carnivores. Free, free, free. Yes. And even better with this one, you can do up to three of the buggers. One, two, three. Boom. Done. Some boom jams. I need some guanlongs. I think what's perfect if you're, you know, you need herbivores and you need carnivores for this. What's great is to have Tijongosaurus, because all Triceratops, to be fair, Triceratops, still MVP in my books. Um, for herbivores. You need those and you need guanlongs because more than likely every month you get this sort of thing to reset and usually a lot of them are used carnivores and it doesn't say you know what type of carnivore. The pyraptor is actually really good as well apparently. The cooldown on that was crazy. Okay super fast. Uh, let's see so that has been a lot. We'll see if that's, oh, that's 90 again. Don't really care for that. Uh, we only have to use five more, so that is two more battles. And then, really, all the other ones we're slowly going to get, and we're slowly getting towards the complete 50 battles. So we only need to do eight of these. And because this is... Well, we only do, need to do two more of these guys. So one of those. Done. We'll quickly jump straight back into it. Get carnivores. And there we go. So that's the carnivore, carnivore one done. However, we still have six regular battles to do. So, I mean, you may as well just do this. And you can enter with one. And it's technically quicker, I suppose, because you don't have to put three in. You could actually just put one in. But I would argue, I would make the argument that putting two in is better because if you put in one, then another menu comes up and asks you whether you want to confirm if you've made the right choice. It's amazing the methods this game has went through from, you know, farming the uh, infinite battles thing, which I think was actually a really good exploit in the game and would technically allow people to grind the infinite battle pack, but also they might want to buy books in your game because that's what they're wanting to do. I don't know, man. I feel like when they took that out of the game, they took a little bit of fun. A little bit of that element, you know, of, you know, you're in the game, you live it, you breathe it, and you're finding ways to, you know, not play the system, but, you know, to get the most out of it. And yes, maybe it was a little bit of an oversight on their part, but it, you know, it didn't need to be fixed. The same way the aquatic uh, thing didn't need to be uh, fixed. Remember when you could get Indominus Rex under the water or any other creature under the water? That was brilliant. I love that. And they took it out. And now, who uses aquatic creatures, right? Nobody. N I never use aquatic creatures. I never use glacier creatures. Because usually the battles for the gla that you use glacier in are super tough. And you don't really have that many variety anyway. And you want to spend your, your DNA on better creatures, technically. As in, in land based creatures because there's more events you've got that one you've got that one and you've got well, a part of, well this is one of the only times where you've actually got two tournaments which oh oh ah, okay never mind the land tournament as well and this thing argument will be said this thing is i think no it's not never mind okay you know what You've sat here, you saw a lot of the grinding the battles. Let's do one of these. So we could, I say could, go for its weakness. But the best I have is a level 30 Smithoceras, which only has 1,910. Now it does half the attack um, of the planes, of the Rhino, of Behemoth 93. But at the same time, we could just go for Jurassic and get more than double the attack and way more than double the health. Which obviously we're going to do. So, we'll start with uh, Pachygalosaurus because it has loads of health just to tank. I want to see just how much damage we can do. Stay in for as long as possible because the, the more damage we do, the more DNA we get out of it. And I don't want to do this multiple times. So, um, we also want a thing, I mean, really... It doesn't matter what I choose here. Everything's pretty much the same because there's no weakness. It's just looking at health and 
uh, attack. So really, I'm using my two, my three best creatures would be best. But knowing that I can use them for other battles, I'm going to save those guys. Uh, and the ones I have the most of are carnivores. So we'll just go for Pachygalosaurus, Chromospinosaurus, or Spinus, and Scorpius Rex from the arguably amazing Camp Cretaceous series. This looks really cool. Okay. I very rarely fight Behemoth. Um, so, you know what? It's lit up nicely. I can see my dinosaurs. I can see the enemy. Maybe this is the PvP arena for the Cenozoic, but I don't think it is. But the lighting's great. I like this. This is a breath of... Ah, oh, fresh air, this is. This is the dark dinginess of the bloody visit, SNA. <laughs> oh no, five hits. Whatever will I do? Oh, 600 damage. <gasps> Prepare to die. Okay, so I think I went for an all-out attack. I'll factor in one just in case. And there you go. Whoa, she'll sit in slow motion for the first one. How will I get it? It's just going to flip itself up. Oh, no, they put... Okay, they put some effort with the animation. Very well done. Because when... <laughs> they reversed it. I think they did with one of the bosses. They were like, we're on a crunch, dude. Just reverse it. I can't remember which boss that was, but it pretty much just got up the same way it died. Um, okay... Two still kills it. Factor in, we'll factor in two just in case. We'll speed up the battle as well. What's up? So, I think it doubles every time for the reward. It's 500 damage first, then 1,000, then 2,000, then 4,000, 8,000, 16. Actually, no, I think it's way faster than that. I think it doubles and triples and whatever. Either way, we're going to get thousands of DNA for this. I'm still going to go for four because I can still kill him in two. Ooh, ooh you cheeky baggy. All right, seven. Oh, that's attacking numbers. Even if you do go for it, which you, you do do, only 4,000 damage. Oh, I think it, it actually had one block left over there. And there you go. Babush. Takes a while. They, when the bosses were first put in the game, I think they used to double their attack. And they would double their health. So a level four would have like, I don't know, 10,000 attack at this point or something ridiculous. And... 20,000 health, which would be pretty decent if you're just grinding damage. Because then I could just go for an all-out attack. Ooh, I didn't kill him. An all-out attack and do as much damage to it as possible. Instead, I'm I'm sort of stunted here, only going for 5,000 per, which definitely is what the game wants of me to do, and that's why they've uh, stopped that from happening. There you go. Do you remember when they first came out as well? How hyped that was. Like, oh my god, you can't kill it. It just gets stronger. Whoa. Oh, I wish they did stuff like that still. Oh. <laughs> that was a weird sound of it. I miss those days. All right. All right. Oh, we started the music. I was going to say, did I actually kill it? No. Don't be ridiculous. All right, come on then. You're level six. I think there's one for getting it to... There's certain achievements for getting it to level 10, I think. Level 1, or level 5, and level 10. It's something like that. It's got to go for that, because why not? Don't kill it in two. That's okay. I'm prepared to die now. Oh, go for an 8. I want to see your, your full-on 8 animation. I think you will. Yes! Let's see. What does it look like? Oh, so it's kind of like... Yeah, it's just it's the same animations as a regular... A regular... Whatever it's called. Mono... Mono Lorino thingy majiggy. Oh! The lighting's gorgeous. I love this thing. Well, we'll go for that. That'll kill it. Especially with the, the, the Spinosaur camera angle. It zooms out even more than other sort of T-Rexes. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Spinosaur is really big. Or the same as Car Car and stuff like that. Because they've all got the same rig. So the camera's still the same. Now, I definitely kill it into it. So we'll just factor in two just in case. And there it is. Let's see if we get level 10. Let's see if we get level 10. I also want to have a look at the other creatures that we got. Like, I kind of got off camera the other pterodactylists and stuff. Because I've already used one of my uh, instant hatches. Like, speed ups. Let's see if we can do the Battle Stage Infinite as well. Let's see if we can just do all the events all in one video. Are you not entertained? I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, level 9. Come on, I want to get you to level 10. 7,000. Uh, ooh, you probably could have killed me. 
One, two, doesn't kill you. Factor in two. Could have went for three. Oh, perfect. That's it, level 10. Now, we'll push it to level 11, shall we? We'll just see how much damage we can do, because I'm not going to do this again. I'll be honest, I'm not doing this again. Uh, here we go for five? Yeah, five. Okay, one block. Good. Chroma Spanner goes down. Brings in Scorpius Rex. Nom, nom, nom. Right. Uh, one, two. Factor in one just in case, because I think it will have that one. There we go. Yo! Level 11. I love how when you do the speed up things, it, it obviously it can't do the sound effects, because the sound effects would also be sped up twice as fast, and it would kind of look a bit odd. Uh, oh my god, okay, four. Cool. You went for an all-out attack. I'm gonna push my limit here. Yeah, I could have went for two. I was tempted. Oh, it had a block. Didn't see that coming. Okay. I was really... Oh, I love Scott Scorpius Rex's design. It's stupid, but... You know, I kind of like it. I'm, I'm a sucker for just spiky things, like, with its teeth and stuff. Especially when Doubles Rex had that sound effect, didn't it? It was like, go, 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 go. Oh, sent chills when I first heard that. I was like, oh, oh that's so cool. <laughs> Monkey brain goes, blub, blub, blub. Cool sound effect. All right, yeah, just get it over with. Go on, let's, let's watch Scorpius Rex die in slow-mo, shall we? Oh, from the rampant horn. From Behemoth 93. Oh, no! <sighs> yeah, yeah, the battle rages on. Yeah, yeah, your, your event's already been completed. I'm just doing it for the DNA. So 138,000 damage. So we get 100 straight off the bat. 100. 300 in total. 600 in total. 1,050. 1,800. 2,800. 3,030? Oh, no, I've lost it. <laughs> but anyway, thousands of DNA we just got there. Oh, we could also... Of course, it was 10 minutes when it was going to clock over. We can do... Uh, possibly. It depends if it cost box. Oh, we got Indicotherium. Okay, but that was all basically free. And now this 10... Oh, of course we don't win any. Oh, maybe we do. Six of my... Six Mosasaur Gen 2s. Uh, what we got here? Oh, again with the... Come on, guys. Yeah, of course I'm going to do that. Uh, it gets us a little bit closer. We now need 10 more, but I'm not going to do... I mean, if I wanted to, I could watch an advert, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, and then all of this, of course, which we can obviously do. I can do my own spare time. 100 battles, fuse, win with 25 herbivores, herbivores, fuse 25 creatures, which you could fuse, though. That's just Triceratops, right? Like, I could just do loads of Triceratops and get that 500 if I wanted to. We've still got ages to get all these other ones. Uh, let's have a look. How far do we go? 7,120. 7, so, yeah, there it is. Rodrigo Solitaire, and we have a guaranteed pack as well. Hold on, I'm pretty sure I opened that pack and I didn't get one. Or was it something else? It might have been one of these other ones. Yeah, oh, oops. oopsies, didn't mean to do that one. Okay, well, I'll collect that now. I like saving the packs because every day you need to open three packs and you get the free pack and then watch an advert and get another free pack. And then I just go in there and collect another one. That's another little handy trick if you just want to grind out the days. Uh, the daily sort of missions. Right. So, we've got 53 minutes to get that. So, sort that. Uh, battle stage infinite. Oh. That is nasty. It's a common. So, that's pretty decent because the prize is guaranteed DNA and bugs. Um, but amphibians and herbivores... Like, that herbivore is just annoying, because that's just thrown in there to take on my Metrophodon. And then I can't really comfortably go for anything else. And my next good flyer is Zal Zalmonodon. Not you! I mean, I need one carnivore to take on. The Pachyceratops. Which could be Indoraptor. And then Metrophodon. End with Metrophodon. Okay, here we go. Let's let's see if we can do that. And this arena is really nice too. It's just the events. Get rid of the visitor center. Scrap it. Or change the lighting. 
That would be nice. Visit us ended during the day. I'd love to see that. Okay. We can almost... No, we can't almost kill it one hit. Uh, we'll go for one block. Hopefully it'll switch and just waste one of its turns. We'll speed this up too. Because we can't be here all day. We've got things to do. Uh, okay, it did. Um, it can't kill me even if it goes for three. So I will go for two block. And it does have three. Okay. Now that's worrying. I'm going to go for three reserves here. I'm going to fodder off Zalmonodon because worst case comes to worst, which it does. It kills me. But it's actually not the worst thing in the world because it frees up my Interraptor to come in and sweep the Patchy Ceratops. And then Metrophodon can sweep the rest. So this is kind of worked out. One, two. Doesn't kill it. Damn. Okay, well, what I could have done there is gone for three block and... Oh, no. I would need to go for four block to survive. 13,000! Oh, my God! Okay. Okay. I'm a bit worried. A bit worried. How much attack do you have? Okay, you're, you're a lot less. So, one, two. Kills you. Factor in the one. Then one, two, three. In case he's got five. Oh, he might have five. I have to go for four block. Oh, wasted. Okay. So, he's only gonna... He might have survived. Now, do I just go for a Hail Mary? I three, I'm going to need three to kill him. Oh, he made it easy. Oh, there we go. Oh, they said it couldn't be done. I am the game of Hebrew after all. <laughs> there we go. That w Again, that was all up to chance. If he'd gone for like one reserve or one attack different, could have been all to pot. And there we go. And you get a decent... Okay, maybe not a decent move. I thought it was either, but the next one. Next one's good. It's a rare one. Get in. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, you've got all of these. We've done a mission as well. There we go. Get it to level 7 and get it to level 10. There we go. So some free super DNA. Now I just keep it as a raptor and I keep it as Monolophosaurus because Monostegatops is very good. And Indoraptors are great just to throw out when it comes to the tournament. And that. I've had this mission. I don't care for the missions. I'm going to be honest. And, oh yeah, I was going to hatch the, you know, we'll save that for another video. And we'll hopefully unlock or hatch the Monodactylus, I think. It's the monkey one, whatever it's called. And anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, we've done a lot this episode. Leave a like until next time. I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.